This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. We learned today there's water on Mars, a headline unthinkable for generations in this country, especially for the millions of us who grew up wondering what was up there. Well, what's up there right now is the small but remarkable Phoenix spacecraft. First, the Phoenix found and dug up ice, but now it has heated the ice in one of its instruments, and it has electronically tasted water, which has always, of course, been said to be the crucial element for life on Mars. It is an otherworldly lead story tonight. Here is NBC's Savannah Guthrie, here on Earth in Washington. It's the evidence scientists and space lovers have long been thirsty for. Hard proof there's water on Mars. The discovery announced at a news conference at the University of Arizona today. When we first found this out yesterday, we were really pleased. There were champagne corks popping in the downlink room. The researchers say NASA's Phoenix lander, perched on Mars's North Pole since late May, has touched and tasted the ice on Mars. The soil samples were collected with the lander's robotic arm, then dropped into an instrument the scientists call an oven. The big discovery, the ice melted and gave off water vapor. Not one, but two pieces of proof the ice is made of water, not carbon dioxide. And where there's water, there may be life, long the fancy of space buffs everywhere. We're really pretty darn sure that life cannot exist without water. What this mission is really about is to try to see if the conditions are suitable for life, and certainly the presence of water is one of those very important conditions. NASA is so thrilled with the discoveries that the Phoenix lander has made, it's extending the mission another five weeks to see what other revelations the red planet may hold. Savannah Guthrie, NBC News, Washington. And perhaps you heard this story this morning, and perhaps it made you think of what you last paid for a tank of gas. ExxonMobil broke its own record for the most profitable quarter by any American company ever taking in just under $11.7 billion in the second quarter of this year. Bears repeating, that's almost $12 billion in pure profit for just one quarter of the business year.